Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing my mini mission for December and we're up to the letter U and it's Unicorn and a, a fantastic beast of just one horn a majestic horse with a long straight and spirally twisted horn purity and chastity and I've got this image which is from my uh, a calendar I got that image of the I'm going to be using my A4 um, Dilutions journal and I just kind of went on the internet and had a look for what does the unicorn symbolize and it says when unicorn means innocence it, unicorns are so strongly associated with the feminine and as such have traditionally appeared as a symbol of chastity the divine power that nurtures all living things and an emblem of the word of divine presence this is why it's often said that only a virgin can catch a unicorn well i didn't know that so um i'm just going to have a play with this one I love unicorns but not the cutesy ones I like pictures like that so um, I'm going to turn you to overhead and we'll have a play okay so the first thing I've done is I've added the um, tissue paper with Mod Podge um, I've just kind of I've not being too precise with it because I wanted lots of textures on this um, I'm not going to be doing too much to the page but um, I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun okay so I've taught literally just torn the excess tissue away again to add different textures to it so what I want to do I want to give it a nice colour wash and I'm going to use sand and um, starlight metallic paint and uh, I just want to give this a nice I'm just going to put some on my mat she says Okay, so that's not the one I want. That's the one I want. And all I'm going to do is I've got a sponge and I'm going to spritz some water on it and get around. And I'm just going to sponge punch the paint on. So that's that done and you can really if I bring it up you can really see because I want to pop that there like that so what I'm going to do is give that a quick blast with the heat gun okie cookie so I've got quite a few stencils that I'm going to use. I've got this one, I've got this one and I've got this one. So I'm not sure which ones are going to, what I'm going to use at the moment but I know I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using the um, antique gold to go through and go through them so take that off 
get some antique gold on. I'm going to use the sponge. It's nice that I can kind of just move it. Around. Goes all along the bottom. In, I think. Oops. say and I think I'll just have a little one here. There we go. So quite happy with that. And I'm just going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just add my unicorn. But first off, what I want to do is I'm going to go around the edge because it's white. And I don't want that showing, so I'm just going to quickly using my vintage photo distress marker just go around the white bits because I ate the white bits I don't always remember but I think on this I really need to do it because I don't want none of the white bits showing not sure whether to put it there. Actually, I think it'll look better in the middle. Right. So while I let's just put that there, and I've got my fabric glue, and as you can see, it was a calendar. So I'm doing a bit of recycling. I know it's this year's, but hey ho. Um, let's do this one, I think. plenty on because obviously I want it to stick and I'm using the fabric decoupage glue from Imagination Crafts and you can find all of Imagination Crafts products on Crafters Companion website www.crafterscompanion.co.uk and um, they have a, a wide range of fabulous Oops, need to put it upside down then. Fabulous products. So let's just wipe this over first. Don't want that getting on my book. So let's see. I'm going to use this to. Take 
that off. What I find is if I if it's on a, a crease, I like to just make sure that that's nicely creased in, nicely put in, and then add that back, and hopefully it'll. There we go. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm really pleased with that. I didn't have a, a foggy how it was going to look, but I'm quite pleased with that. I'll give it a quick blast. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to add some flourishes, I think. And I'm going to use the misty green. But first off, I need to put the excess that's in back in my pot. That needs washing. Beauty of the sponges is you can wash them. So that's always good, isn't it? Don't want to keep throwing sponges away every time. I have used Mr. Green. Please tell me I've used Mr. Green. Get the lid off. I can get the lid off. So, yeah. There we go. Another sponge. Just want want to join The, for the paler colour because I don't want it too dark. Another one that's done. Put that back in my pot. Right, okay. So I'm going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun. want to um, add some splats and I've got um, the mixed media ink spray in dark brown. I'm just going to spray some on on my mat and I need to cover my unicorn. And all I'm going to do is just very subtle they're very very subtle splats there we 
again. Just got a few there, which you might them up. And the last thing I want to do um, from my brother, well, my husband's brother label. I've just done the word unicorn. A date and sign it and that's my mini mission for my last mini mission for this year. Put it there. And I need a pen and I'll just sign it. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick um, mini mission. I do, I do, uh, I've enjoyed this one. Just doing it, you know, not going overboard. Bit of stenciling, tissue paper, splats, an image, and I think I'm going to call that complete. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Um, this year for the mini missions and uh, I hope you'll join us um, next year for our mini missions in 2019 where did the years going happy crafting everybody and uh, until next year for my mini missions bye bye for now